Welcome back to Universal Studios Halloween. I'm here at Theme Park Wizard. I am doing a little construction update for you. I'm here for the holiday pass holder takeover party. There's a couple of these today and tomorrow, but it's time for you to do a little construction update. So let's get right to it. All right, so today we're gonna try the something different here and do a little voiceover action for the Universal Hollywood update videos. And let me know in the comments below if you like this version of voiceover better or on low. If I want me to be uh, like speaking on location at the park better, because I'm very curious. But yeah, so we're gonna say start at the upper lawn by the Mario or Nintendo themed cafe. Yeah, not much progress on the exterior here, at least on the where the cafe location is is expected to be um but there's some facade work going on still scaffolding on the other side there are no new there's the marquee's not back up yet for the power up cafe is rumored to be called and see that type of billboard type of structure they're building there nothing that has not been filled yet so i'm curious to see when that stuff will be back installed and when this will be open hopefully by the holidays Here's a close look at that scaffolding on the other side. There's still some facade touch-ups and you kind of kind of see the finished product. This is I was here at the holiday takeover event, so I was filming some for that and it's getting dark. It's dark so early now. You can't really see it through the video, but in person you can see they're really doing some nice touch-ups and the brickwork looks fantastic. So I can't wait to see that unveiled. And the other two buildings look, you can see they're, they're already completed and they look gorgeous. So I can't wait to see what these three buildings look like in that market that should be opening back underneath there I, th I actually wonder though will it be opening i mean i see the the infrastructure for the market stand their snack stand that was still there but i wonder if the cafe will take over this area as well or if that will the little market refreshment stand will be back on my way to check out Fast and Furious construction, I wanted to check out the Parisian courtyard because, yeah, this area is usually Halloween Horror Nights for most of the year. So for, like, just a few months, you get to enjoy this nice seating area. So, yeah, go ahead and enjoy the Parisian courtyard. It's a nice place to eat. I had some of my La Cocina tacos here, and there's not a lot of people here usually. It's kind of hidden and tucked away in the park, and it's a very nice, immersive French setting. Again, it was absolutely freezing at this time um, during filming, but... Yeah, the water play area was still open. Um, I wonder why Universal just doesn't turn it off on when it's just cold like this. Because, I mean, no one's in it. And I don't know if that's a waste of water. It's probably recycled water. So, I don't know if it's like a waste of water. Um, some would certainly evaporate, evaporating. So, it could, could be a waste that way. But, yeah. I mean, I think they should definitely turn it off. And, better yet, take it out and replace it with something new. Like, maybe a nice flat ride for the kids or for everyone. Just to add to the attraction count to the park. And that's something that can be done in just like a few months rather than a couple years like these major projects and add something illumination style maybe like a minions flat ride or something would be pretty good or 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 take out all the play areas and put them in even the spinner ride and put like a minions dark ride there that would be my dream checking in on the fast and furious construction they continue to work very very hard on this hill the first track pieces actually have arrived as of November 19th. I'll put the screenshot over here of the track shipment that just posted yesterday. But yeah, they arrived, which is super cool. So I can't wait to start seeing that go vertical. And the tower crane, as you'll see, should be installed pretty soon. I heard it's going to be installed this month. So if it's not installed already, it'll be installed next week. It's supposed to go in the little square where the rebar is. And that will go ahead and lift all the pieces up. And you can see they're still working hard. It was, again, it's only about four, 5 o'clock at this time, even though it looks much later. So they're still really working hard on the station area and the scalp, the, and the, um, the hillside there as well. Yeah, they're really, they're really moving up. They have a lot of rebar there for the station. That has gone vertical. And that uh, we should see what the station structure looks like. It's interesting because... They didn't show the station structure in those uh, concept art or they showed to the neighbors. They purposely hit the station because it wasn't necessary in that conversation. So I'm curious. The station is still a mystery. So I'm really excited to see what that looks like. Here's a better look at the station. This camera, I've been using this brand new Sony camera. And uh, it doesn't really, ha I can't really zoom in when I'm shooting. So I actually bought another 8K camera that I'm going to check out and try to use as a zoom feature 
um, for these voiceover style updates. That's why I want to kind of do the voiceover, just kind of use different cameras and stuff. But yeah, try. I can't really zoom in here, but next time I'll be able to zoom in. And yeah, but you can see just a lot of work continuing on the station and all around the site in general. Plenty of construction trucks um, and equipment moving all around the site. Here's another look at this site. I was here for quite a bit. I just want to see them working. And you know what? Let me give you the chance to see them working as well. Let's go ahead and listen to some of the sights and sounds of the Fast and Furious Hollywood Drift construction. <laughs> Oh yes, hello there. Hello, you man. Oh, thanks for watching. What's your name? Yeah. Oh, nice to meet you. Thank you excited you. for the holiday party thingy thingy? Oh yeah. Me too. And that's gonna do it for this week's construction update. What do you guys think about the projects? I'm uh, excited for the Power Cafe to open. The Fast and Furious track pieces are on site now, which is really cool. Um, can't wait to see those start to get installed, hopefully in the near future, probably next month. And yeah, it should be super exciting. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. The question of the day, question of the day. When do you think Fast and Furious will open? Late 2024, or early 2025. Let me know in the comments below. Chance one of the free theme park was a pin. As always, subscribe, like the channel, and if you want to support the channel, consider joining our Patreon. patreoncom club 722 Link down below in the description. Have a fast and furious day, everybody.